We are doing it from the start, but I would like to talk to the group just a little bit to say yeah. that in this game, uh, if the preparation discussion lasts more than a few minutes, then you know you need to stop and play something else. Because there is nothing worse than negotiation and complication in primetime adventures. So if we can get the plane to take off, then we are fine. If we are not, then we are not going to sit there on the runway for hours. So that's not a threat. I'm just saying from experience, it's something to know about the game. So the idea of this game is to uh, use as our model a certain kind of television show. The kind of television show I'd like you to think about uh, is uh, not one of these shows where you can just watch any episode out of order. There is a certain logic to the sequence of episodes. It might not be as solid as some shows where every single line is like a little Swiss watch for the whole season. It doesn't have to be that tight. But somebody who likes the show should be able to say, okay, it goes in this order. Even if the different, even if the episodes are pretty different, it should kind of, the order should matter to the characters. So the other important point is that this is a show with multiple main characters or protagonists. You don't just have one star or the two buddies and everybody else is just support. You have the sometimes the show can focus more on one character than another character, and that's okay. But there are a lot of main characters, uh, perhaps different plots proceeding at the same time. So the other important thing I want to say is that we do not have to produce a television show for anyone else. One of the big dangers of this game is people try to use it like they were Hollywood writers making a show for other people. So they start to think as producers for some audience out there. We are the audience. The show only pleases us. So we don't have to worry about whether it would be popular, for example. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, there's really not, so it's not really very different from most role-playing games, right? Everything I just said, you know, kind of episodic, and we have multiple protagonists, and we're here for ourselves. It's really not very different. And so it's better to think about it that way instead of trying to create some weird television in your head. So the other thing to say then is uh, the show could be literally anything and i suggest that it, that your only thought is let's have it be something that you would like to watch that if you are one of these people i'm not naming any names who doesn't watch television this show well this time you would you would this time because they just do it really well or for whatever reason so the uh, the idea here, then, is not to have a thousand ideas and then debate about them, but just to say, what are some possibilities, and let's pick one, not because it's perfect, but because it's possible, and you don't hate it. You are not going to scream about it. Um, we have seen, in this game, we have seen children's shows uh, with a, a large puppet-style character, or many, many, many imitations of Firefly, of course, um, and many, many, many imitations of The Sopranos, of course. But the show doesn't have to be uh, an imitation. It could just be something completely weird or different, or who knows, maybe it's a completely ordinary police mystery procedural. It just happens to be very good. Better than <laughs> the other ones. 
So therefore you would watch it because anybody can watch a police procedural, but we watch this one. So uh, I this is where we die. This is where we fly or die, my friends. I have a couple of suggestions, okay. but they just to start things off. Um, um, with the risk of being too close to Firefly, which is the, the the main the main thing here, but I I have I I have one one concept and genre genre like thing that I haven't seen, but I'd really like to see. And it's it's a really low tech sci fi within within our own solar system. Mm -hmm. No aliens, no other, no like uh, Star Wars stuff, and. And and it's basically about really big ships going between planets, and and it's not about the command command like the command line the, the, the Star Trek setting. It's about the low life, the people working beneath deck that are really within all these gigantic machines going really slow between planets. And moving stuff. Um, blue I, I, color space freighter. Yes, blue color space depression. Um, not not necessarily the depression, but at least uh, not being in. Uh, you know that they're the really in command people. Uh, um, that, that's yes. a thing that I really like. <laughs> Now, and, and regarding the applauds that that cost um, no, everyone no, no, else. No, hold on, let's think a little bit. One of the things we could do is talk also just a little bit about the concept in a slightly more generic sense, such a thing as I mentioned police procedural. You could also talk about um, romance and friendships or family drama mm. or... Um, you know, uh, even, you know, action for some reason. Um, <laughs> and the, uh, something with lots of fighting for Sandra. Oh, did I say that? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, I will disappoint you, but when it comes to movies and TV series, I love it when nothing happens. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, I kind of like that, actually. That's a good point. Um, yeah. that's, that's an interesting point. So the, the idea therefore could be that we can, we could just go with this and you see, everybody gets to make up their own character and everybody makes up a character with their own issue, right? Their own sort of basic dramatic concept. So, uh, Helma, you looked like you were going to say something. You were waving. Your, yes, I waving think. Your um, yes, yeah. <laughs> I think I would like a little bit of exploration in the mix, if that's possible. What sort of exploration? You mean of unknown things, or something unknown? Right. Right. I not not um, necessarily right. things. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't want to. In other words, I don't let's not have the whole. I think I understand. Let's not have a, everything for. Let's say we were doing the space freighter blue collar thing. Okay, mm -hmm. if we're doing that, then what you are saying is that it's not like there's a little book that has everything about the show, everything about the ship, everything about the culture, everything, and just let their room for the audience to find things out. Maybe the characters too are dealing with things that are unknown, which is not necessarily their happy place. Right? Well, we, they're just trying to do their jobs, for example. Uh, wrong. Uh, you were you were starting to say that we could talk about the things above because you could have this setting and all the exploration and still have it could still be a romantic series about that's correct. finding your room. Yes, that's correct. So, there, there, or we, we, so, but I'm not going to try to push for anything like that. I just want to say that no. if you, but could you give it a couple of examples? To, we, could, we could, we could push, we could make more things about the series if we 
feel very strongly or if this you feel that this has not been enough. If you feel that we have enough, then we should move straight to the protagonists. Less is more in this case. Um, I, I, I think we will. I, we can get enough with exploration. We can get more of this. What is unknown? For example, we go to planets to planets. Right. Uh, there's a big chance there for exploration and uh, trying to investigate and such. This is a space theory. We we are in a ship. And, and, uh, and not, like not, this idea, we, we are all right. Go ahead. We, we, we all are agreeing on that. Mm -hmm. We are also agreeing yeah. about a very industrial working class environment. Yes. And, and, mm -hmm. and Sandra we wanted to say something. Yeah, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you, Helma. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I was going to say, I, I don't really understand the concept of, uh, you know, the mechanical things because I never liked those uh, types of movies or series of things. But uh, even if I don't have, well, it is a series, but I, I think that I could be a part that likes to explore the planets for like some sort of life or if there has been life or, you know, stuff like that. I could, you know, well, there are several aspects of this. Um, one is that everybody is going to make up a character, and each character has his or her own definition and his or her own qualities and connections, and also uh, a specific um, problem or story problem some sort of an issue. Perhaps this person has a problem with families. Perhaps this person has a problem with love. Perhaps this person has a problem with violence. Perhaps this person has a some other... It's not necessarily a problem, but it is some kind of question, something that character is about. And you don't have to get very uh, analytical about it. You don't have to write a... 50 page essay about the problem or something, but you should recognize that this is where our focus is. And so if you say that my character's issue is some particular thing, if you say my character is, uh, for example, uh, an analyst, you know, I study the, the samples from the planets, I go to the planets or I, I am involved in some scientific kind of capacity, then they are. Okay. And you're a main character, so it's going to be in there. We don't have to agree about that stuff. You just say, that's my character, and the rest of us have to live with the fact that the show is about this now. Okay. Right? So that's okay. You have plenty of room. We are not defining the whole series and show right now. We are talking about the basics so that you can define the series and show with your characters and their ideas. Okay. So I well, think... in that case, I will be fine with some space travel. Mm -hmm. um, so in that case, maybe we should do this. This sounds like it's kind of fun. And I'm going to uh, tell you what you need to do to make up a character. Um, the, the, you may be surprised at how simple this is. Uh, you should have uh, first, this concept of an issue. In English, you know, the issue is like, uh, I said the word problem before, it could be a problem. Your character made it, we don't necessarily know that your character understands it. They probably don't. It's, if we focus on your character, we are going to see a story about this kind of thing. And some very good examples from the rule book include, for example, a character who is uh, dealing with control and the obsessions of control, uh, or another character uh, is all about romantic troubles. Uh, another character is uh, uh, always criticizing or concerned about their own worth. Uh, another character may always be trying to make up for something, to atone for something that they have done. Um, and 
the important point is that 